Huey P. Newton, a biographical series made by Apple Plus, which is called The Big Cigar, and Don Cheadle is set to direct. Here we go again, yet another racial victim narrative coming out of Hollywood. But in this t instance, not only do you have the racial victimhood at play, but you have a confession coming from Hollywood where they confess that a Hollywood producer helped aid and abed a criminal during the 1970s. Now, this is the description of the show. It's stated here, The Big Cigar will tell the extraordinary, hilarious, almost too good to be true story of how Huey P. Newton relied on his best friend, Bert Schneider, the Hollywood producer behind Easy Rider, to elude a nationwide manhunt and escape to Cuba while being pursued into exile by the FBI. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> not only does it expose a criminal effort, you know, uh, collaborating with the so-called pro-black movement and a Holly weirdo, but it also exposes the fact that this bullshit has been going on for many, many decades. Because, you know, obviously a lot of people, I'm sure before all of this BLM bullshit got exposed for what it was, probably believed the Black Panther Party was a solid organization. But as we've learned more and more, or people should be learning by now, is that all of these movements have always been fraudulent. And they've always frequently collaborated with a particular kind of white liberal. <laughs> Which is what you're getting based on the description of the show. You know, them openly admitting that. Now, the contemporary Hugh P. Newton, uh, who goes by the name of Colin Kaepernick, you know, he hasn't been martyred yet, you know. In, in fact, it seems like his martyrdom comes with the fact that he won't allow, won't be so-called allowed back in the NFL. You know, that's how these contemporary so-called activists get martyred today. You know, they just can't get one job, but then they get a thousand other jobs. And they usually get those thousand other jobs provided by them through Hollywood and people like Bert Schneider and uh, yeah a Black Panther organization that's what this story is about and of course Don Cheadle is attached to this he's another one of their approved pets walking around with protect trans kids t-shirts and going after actress Letitia Wright who dared to question Falsi's medicine and the China virus or the Wuhan virus yeah so that's who Don Cheadle is so it makes sense that they'll attach him to this project which again pushes more of this you know uh, my racial victimhood narrative that they love to cast these so called black entertainers in all the time and they're more than willing to accept those roles, by the way. So, but yeah, man, <clears throat> yet another pathetic show that uh, I will avoid. <laughs>